Sheriff's office. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on here? You got huh? my dinner. Can I help you? Yeah, someone called the sheriff's office. Yeah, I thought it was the Texans over there. Oh, they were saying it was someone from here called. Did so you call the cops? No. I'm just eating. I don't know what you're talking about. Eating? Eating your ham? That's it. What's your name, man? Baby, you know who I am. I don't, I've never met you before. I own this house. Okay. You own this house? Pick it up, 3480. Okay. You got an ID or something on it? No, I don't need one. Take the computer. You're not even supposed to be here. Says who? What are you here for? I'm trying to eat dinner. Because we got you a got call. a warrant? Because we got Can a I shut the door in this place? Be no, because this crack gets over there called the cop. Now, do me a favor, because you don't belong here, and get away from All right, who's this guy? This guy is my tenant, Alan. Yeah, Alan, can you come out here and talk to me for a minute, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Father and us. The guy Does anybody else live here? That's it. You want to check it out? You want to see the grams in the back, homeboy? Sure, man. Come check it out, man. You want to come here? The devil's house. Who's the caller? There's nobody here. Alan, no here. Come, you Every night, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm tired of He said, I'm gonna stab you, I'm gonna kill you. He said that tonight? What? Every time. The guy smokes that spite. He smashes, uh, like, Brown glass in the puck. Mm -hmm. That's diamonds. It's diamonds. That's what he calls it. Oh, okay. Right. I mean. So what? What made you call tonight? If he always acts like this, just because he's threatening you? Yeah. And you're scared? Yeah. All right. Do you have another place to stay? Have you thought about moving out? No. I, I might be moving. Yeah. You got a lot of mold in here, man. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. You're gonna get sick. Look at the right here, it's going the whole Man. I know, it's that. Yeah, be careful, yeah. You're gonna fill it right through that thing. The flood. But I don't know. I went over to my kid's house today, nobody was there, and I gotta stay here tonight. But I, we not, I'm not fighting with him, and I know I didn't call him. I don't want to call him, we gotta figure that out. I'm here crazy. Do you own the house? This is my house, it's in my name. Who, who used to, who lived here with you before? Then at some point you get trespassed from here? This is my dad's house. No, this way John, he was. This is his dad. Uh, how long have you been back staying here? Mm, I stay here whenever I got it. You stay here whenever you got to? I know where you're standing at. Pay attention where you're standing. Yeah? I don't know, look on the floor. Yeah, what's on the floor? A pentagram is standing there. Look on <laughs> All right, cool. You have to be careful when you stand there. What's that, what's that gonna do? How do it makes oh. you go crazy when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always Did stick. you draw the pentagram? In no, your artwork? I didn't do that. Oh, you didn't do it? Huh? I put the carpet back. It was just there? I mean, I played on it a little bit. I drew a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You your own touch. I did a couple little things, you know, like the Heart Club Diamond Spade here. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> that I don't remember doing. We got a few bullet holes here. Uh -oh. You know, I'm not from tonight. From a, I'm going to Who uh, shot up the house? Over here, I don't know. A few people died in here. A couple people died in here? Over right here, they got shot over there. This, they are, it's so new. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's low sodium ham. That's a, that's a lot of ham to be eating. I don't know if I'm going to check the wrapper. Yeah, probably should. <laughs> All right, man. So you're good? I don't know. What, what does it say? What are you doing? Oh, you know, man, this isn't you. Uh, Smoking spice? That's what we were told. Spice, then I would be going crazy. Well, well no, spice makes you go crazy. <laughs> but I wouldn't say eat. this is crazy, so. It don't make you eat and chill. I know that. I don't know I've never smoked spice. I might have smoked some weed earlier. Smoked some weed earlier, got hungry. I might, I might have. I'm not going to say I got some. Uh, I'm you know, got the blood cheese and ate a quarter pound of ham. I mean, I can't smoke with you right now. You got I mean, no. <laughs> I don't expect you to smoke with this dander here. Yeah. Is it the 51 one gone? Yeah. There's no such thing anymore. Like, see that light right there? It came out of the bus. Yeah? I swear to God, look. Right. That's we made it work. 
Yeah, no light bulbs in here, so they can't steal the light bulbs. Can we get in What's light? going on with your your roommate here, with he's, Alan? I don't know, he's drunk. He's drunk, but you're not. He's drunk and you're a little high, so. I'm not Sounds high. like a party. You, said you might have, you might have smoked some weed. Spice, I'll be sweating. <sighs> I'm normal. I'm even. I got some cigarettes. Hypothetically, you might have smoked some weed. I see my kid and I couldn't, so I just. Is that know, the devil? It might be. He might be right here. You never know. <laughs> Hi, it's a super case. Food mark. Caller says there's a male that was shooting off a gun. Just a guy with a gun shooting around in the super case. So we're just, uh. The subject's currently being detained by bystanders. Yeah, we got through 1819. Where? Where's the gun at? He's down there. What, what do you look like? Yeah. Where's the guy with the gun? Right there, right there. Right, right there. right over there. I got the gun. Cross section here, cross section down, country club. Hey. You guys, he's running down country club? Oh, yeah. No, gun's on the ground. Don't touch the gun. Don't, don't touch the gun. Yeah. Ocean 13, you can clear 10 3. We got the mail allegedly with the gun. You start fire risk, you got a guy bleeding. It's right here. Don't touch the gun. Stand over there. Stand over there for me. Back up. Back up. Yeah, he came up in my and started shooting the damn gun. This dude right here. Okay. I mean, right in the store. Roll this way. Roll this way. Come on. Sit you up. Sit you up. That's the reason he is sure. I don't. Okay, let's relax. Don't worry about that, okay? Beat me up, man. I was trying to get in my house, man. We'll beat you up. These holes. So where were you at when this all happened? Me, my boy right there, sitting on the sidewalk, along with in front Craig of the, in front here. of the in the front of the kid. Okay. Okay, on the side of it. Okay. All right, where there's no building. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. This man just comes up like on a mission. Mm -hmm. You know, and and then he's like. Out of nowhere, you. Out just, of nowhere. Okay, don't, don't nowhere. yell. Don't yell at me. Okay, just you and your boy, right? We're yeah, just yeah. sitting there. Out of nowhere, this guy came running around. He come around the with building. With the gun in his hand. No, he had it on his side, but we didn't know that at first. But he didn't show it. No, not until he's like, do you know me? And we're uh -huh. like, no, we don't know you. He's like, I know you. And uh -huh. that's when he pulled it out. Oh, he's shooting it. Oh, yeah, he shot it three or four times. Right. You were just with the female? Yeah. Oh, uh, and I just said, babe, if they kill me, let yeah, do, he was, he was chase him. Because I thought he hit me at first. I was like, I was shocked. He shot it twice, right? Mm -hmm. Then that's when he ran this way. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you guys got a hold of him. Well, then that's when he came back at us again. He come at me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I said, What are you gonna hit me? You're gonna hit me? Mm -hmm. Yo, hit you, yo, hit you. And then he went after him. And then that's when he whooped his yeah, ass. Yeah, and then that's when he tackled him. Yeah, and then he pointed a gun at her head, that was it. Yeah, I took him to the ground, that's it. He just got checked out by EMS. He's cleared, he's hanging out with us now. So. As long as we get this established a little more, he's probably going to take a ride with us today. All I want to do is just come home and live in peace, man. Well, so much mistakes on the grill. I right, man. I work for the I don't bother nobody, man. All right, man. This came out of me with a gun. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take care of it. We just need to I don't even we know this guy. Statement. Never even That's seen all. him before. All right. Never seen him. The guy came up, according to them, started yelling and ranting. An altercation took place. He fired, according to them, two shots at them over here. He ran with the gun that way in between a building. They went, chased him down as they tried to apprehend him. He shot one into the ground. Then the boyfriend got a hold of him, started beating him up, tried to hold him down until we got there. And uh, that's where I found the gun right next to him. Hey, you scared the out of some people, man. Some, some people have fight, some people have flight. Bad news is today is they wanted to fight. You went down there with a gun, and then look what happened. Let's put him in the car. Right. So one foot, head, and foot in. Good. We're going to take him to jail tonight for uh, aggravated with that deadly weapon, because he actually fired it off. And that's it. doing a traffic stop on this vehicle right here for uh, window 10, legal 10.
Hey guys, what's going on? Deputy Hall with the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is the, uh, the window tent. You got your driver's license with you? No, sir. Do you have a valid driver's license? No, not valid. Do you have a valid driver's license? No, I don't. Okay, so nobody can drive? Okay. All right, go ahead and jump on out for me. Hmm? Okay. Do you? Okay. While you guys are out also, okay, while I was at that side of your window, I smell a strong odor of marijuana. Is there any marijuana in that car? Because I smell it. I don't, I mean, I don't smoke marijuana. Okay. So I'm just, here, why don't you stand over to the front over there? All right. So far, a little pipe. Marijuana in the cigarette pack. Sure. Stand right here for me, I'm, so I can read them to you both at the same time. All right. This is not good. You. This doesn't mean you're going to jail. Yeah. This just means I'm going to talk to you. Okay. You know how that. This is all. This is. So, all right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer or have him present with you while you're being questioned. All right, during my search also, just found meth in her purse. Also some baggies, a scale. So obviously, she's probably selling. Who, who, whose dope is it? Is it his? Is it yours? It's not his. Okay. Then whose is it? It's obviously not his. Okay. All right. Does that leave? I, it does leave you, but but I want I want to hear. I was I was wondering if uh, what your explanation was. <laughs> there really isn't no explanation, you know. So you're doing meth and it's marijuana. A stupid choice. Okay. Oh, no, one. Are you Keep selling? Hot spot, three ocean mm -hmm. Are you selling? Out there, no. make contact with the Rocky Island. Let's talk to her later, but. I mean, obviously more. She's actually, they're probably making it also. There's some Sudafed pills that I have to, oh, Soma pills, which are illegal. Nice. All right, you're free to go, okay? So go ahead. There was a new port. Right now, man, we're just keeping everything here, okay? I'm not going to go through All right, man. So I'm out. Have a good day, all right? All right. So far, what we have is one gram of cocaine. 2 grams of heroin, 2.8 grams of meth, 1.8 grams of marijuana, and 4.4 grams of morphine, which in the state of Florida is trafficking. I found a black notebook. You have what kind of pills? She's basically selling anything from tramadol to Lexapro, which are all pain pills. It says, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Well, guess what? I guess you're not going to accomplish anything in life right now. Just jail. We are heading to back up another unit on a traffic stop. She's requested our canine unit, so it's possible there's some kind of narcotic activity. Hey, man, you mind if I, can you face the car? I'm going to do a pat down real quick, all right? I appreciate it. You got anything on you? Do you have anything on you? Um, only thing in my pocket is my gold teeth. Your gold teeth? Yeah. Okay. So she does a traffic stop. This guy in the black shirt bolts back into the house. Apparently he ditched whatever he, whatever was inside the car. This is the house you stay at though? Yeah, I see this going on. I walk outside. I got no idea what's going on there. Oh, you just came outside and saw the cop car? Yeah. You weren't in the car? I walked back to the house once and this guy said he was pulled over. Oh, okay. He would be right out. I don't know. All right. All right, just hang out for me. We, the dog hit on the on the vehicle for narcotics, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a quick search. Ooh. No way, buddy. What was that at? Right here in the back. Thank you. Yeah, this was, they tried to cover it up with these jackets. Come 
lot of weed. Dang, that smells fresh. Yeah. It smells really fresh. Oh, it's gonna be a felony amount, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the doggy. I grabbed this little pocketbook that was on the passenger side, and there's a lot of cash, and there's a little, um, looks like a cellophane wrapper with some pills in it. We haven't identified them yet, but we'll identify them and uh, see if they're a scheduled substance. What's the deal with the marijuana, then? The marijuana came from the other guy. He just dropped all that marijuana off? Yeah. Well, he doesn't just give you guys that much weed, though. You guys were going to buy it. No, I, he must have dropped it, because, like I said, he, I only, what, he, she only was going to get, like, something small. You were driving, your girlfriend wanted some marijuana. The goal was to just purchase a small amount. So realistically, you came here to purchase marijuana, right? Yeah. You came down here to purchase weed, right? No. You didn't come here to get marijuana? No. So what's, who, what's the other guy? What's his involvement? Why does he get in the car? Why does he run out of the car? I don't know. I don't know why he ran out of the car. All right. What was found? That's what, what made me like, what the hell is going on? All right. What did you, do you, are you prescribed any medications or anything? No. Okay, so why do we find oxys inside your bag? That I don't know. Do you think we put them there? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't know. Well, I, I, didn't well, I don't know. Does it, that doesn't work. Well, I didn't put them there, so I'm not sure how they got there. I'm just really curious. I'd like to catch the person that put those pills in your pocketbook. She's playing the innocent card. She's acting like she has no idea what's going on. I don't, I don't buy it. The, the pills were somehow magically appeared inside of her purse. So she's going to go to jail for possession of controlled substance. I got to talk to Deputy Bronson and see what she wants to do with the marijuana because it was found in the center. So it always gets touchy with charging people with like that. But someone's going to jail for it. We just got to talk to him again, see what story he gives us this time. So. Your buddy here calls you, or you call him. I haven't figured that out yet. They show up at your house. You come out to sell them some stuff, right? Dude, you are high on some crazy stuff. I'm a drinker. I don't do I walked outside to see what the was going on, and then I'll see this and get arrested. And nobody wanted to admit to the possession of marijuana. Uh, it's 145 grams, so we can't just let it go. So all three were inside the vehicle. All three are going to jail, as well as the female catching the possession of controlled substance. This uh, red explorer in front of us just uh, committed a U-turn when there's three big no U-turn signs indicating you can't make a U-turn. So we're going to pull them over here in a second if we can catch up to them. Want no work? I copy, thank you. Do you know why I'm pulling you over? No. You know the U-turn you made in front of Walmart? Do you know what I'm talking about? The only U-turn you made right here on US-19? Yes, sir. It's a no U-turn. There's three big no U-turn signs that and indicate you can't. And I watch you guys all day long pull people over there. I know, a lot of people. <laughs> Give your driver's license registration on your buddy. I'm gonna be honest with you, you're gonna take me to jail. Why am I gonna take you to jail? Because I don't have a license. You don't have a license? Okay, do me a favor and step out of the car for me, buddy. I appreciate you being honest with me, okay? Take the keys out of the ignition for me. Put them on top of the counter for me, okay? Yes, Let's step back over here, okay? Okay, do you mind if I check your pockets? Are you using any drugs or anything like that or no? Yes, sir, Is that just spice? Yes, I'll give you a citation for that if it's just spice. Yes, I can get sir. you out of here, okay? If you're being cooperative with me, I'm just gonna detain you while I do, do some other tests, okay? Two. Sound good? Yes, Lean up against the car for me. I'm gonna put some gloves on and check the rest of you, okay? Okay, whose car is this? She's in jail right now. Cross Street of Methodist Lane. What, what is she in jail for? New girlfriend or living out of <laughs> That's your new girlfriend? And you're driving your wife's car? Might get called for That's pretty messed up, isn't it? You know, you know what? Were you involved in a shooting? Yeah. At the country club. Yeah. I was there for that too. Remember the homeless guy with the gun running around? Yeah, I'm the one that had I remember you were the one without your shirt on. Remember running up and we came up there? Yeah, he's on the animal. And then was this the girl when that was this the girl that was with you? When she was had her foot on the gun and I came over there? Man. You're my victim and now you're come on, man. You want to step out for me real Absolutely. quick? Absolutely. I appreciate it. So are you going to be cooperative like your boyfriend? Absolutely. Okay. I remember you guys. Yeah, I'm going to let you know I, right now. My belt buckle is a knife. 
Your so bell ball goes out. Absolutely. Okay. So okay. I appreciate it. it. You're more than Listen. Good. The belt buckle? Yeah, yeah, the okay. belt, it comes out. Okay, I'm gonna, I right, appreciate you being honest with me. Problem. I'm gonna hang on to this. Yep. Is there a scale or anything in the car I need to worry I about? I have a scale in my backpack. Okay, do you have any missing, do you have a roach or old roach or any nope. weed laying around? No nope. dime bags, nothing like that. Nope. Okay, nothing small. Three, there is a bowl. Where's that? Right now, it's in the center. Uh huh. Thing. And whose bowl is that? I'll take claim for that. Okay, turn your arms for me. You know, right now you're not getting arrested, right? You're just gonna get detained. Yep. If it's just misdemeanor weed, I'll scratch your citation, you can get out of here, okay? No problem. Um, she is voluntarily telling me she has a bowl, which looks like there's going to be weed, so it's a arrestable offense. It'll be a misdemeanor. His wife is in jail okay. for domestic battery. That's his wife's car that he's driving, and he's driving his new girlfriend around in his wife's car. And <laughs> is also married, and her husband is in jail. So both of their husbands and wives are in jail, and they're driving his wife's car around. Nice. So this is a. Uh, so they've obviously rebounded. It's a family reunion. So we're gonna end up arresting him for driving while license suspended, third offense. Take him for that. He's also gonna get a $500 citation for the spice. She's gonna get arrested for the misdemeanor, uh, possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. Okay guys, this is what's gonna happen, okay? So listen, ma'am, it's right? Where is yes, she at? Sir. Yes, sir. You're, so you're gonna get arrested for the misdemeanor marijuana and drug paraphernalia, okay? They're both misdemeanors. They'll probably be bonded out tonight. The reason I can't give you a notice to appear is because you're homeless and I don't have an address for you. So that means you can't receive mail anywhere. So you're gonna go to jail. My sister's house. I, I I can't do that. I, I, so tonight, so tonight you're gonna be going to jail for misdemeanor marijuana. And Why can't I just take the and miss? Hold on, let me let me explain it to her. She already told me it's hers. I can't change my mind now. I already got all this stuff done. I can't do anything about that. I'm gonna put on your arrest affidavit that you guys are being beyond cooperative, so they'll try to lower your bond. I'll even request a lower bond for you. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sound good? Yes, sir. I'm gonna throw this in the car. Okay. Okay. Thank you.